What is up everybody? Tyler Fullerton here with another Fullerton Nutrition Daily. So let's talk about this. Just got done working out. When is the best time to take in carbs? So I always tell everybody, definitely take in your carbs around your workout. If you're gonna take in a little bit higher carb meal, do it before your workout or after when you are going high calorie burn, your heart rate is still up, especially from interval training and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is, as always, I'm gonna finish up with a protein shake here. I don't do it before anymore because I'm running and it's hot out now here in Arizona. So doing a protein shake, so the meal replacement shake and what I'm going to do is a peanut butter sandwich. Everyone's going to freak out. Oh my gosh, he's eating bread. So Dave's thin sliced 22 grams of carbs right here. I'm going to stay under 30 grams of carbs all day. And yes, I'm having bread. So two slices is 22 grams of carbs. And then I'm going to be having peanut butter. Love this stuff. I don't know what it is, why it's so hard to find this stuff right now, but it is. So with this stuff, it's delicious. And with two tablespoons, two tablespoons, a ton of peanut butter. I'll probably use about a tablespoon. So it's going to be three and a half grams of carbs with this. So yes, you can still have carbs and lose weight. That's why you want to surround your carbs around your workout. That is the best time to take in those carbs. You still want to take in the amount of protein. Just readjust your macros on there. And then make sure to, on the next two meals, like I'm gonna, I'm not gonna have any carbs. And if I do, it's gonna be veggies, but the carbs are gonna be so low, I'm not even gonna break that 30. Um, but that's how you can still have bread. So if you wanna have sandwiches, you can. I would definitely get the Dave's Killer Bread Thin Slice. This stuff is delicious. If you had it before, let me know, drop it in the comments. Don't forget, still doing that special on the custom keto plans, 27 bucks right now, fullertonnutrition.com. But that's how I'm breaking the fast after working out. Quick tip for all those coffee lovers out there. I'm making my protein shake, making true meal in coffee right now. So you add 16 ounces of coffee. If you don't hit the 16 ounces with the coffee, add a little bit more cold water. I do mine over ice and then two scoops of true meal. The best shake you'll ever have in your entire life. If you do it in coffee, let me know. All right. So meal two and yeah, I'm, pretty burnt from that run today. Usually I don't get burnt, but watch this smiley face. Uh -huh. um, meal two, what we're gonna do right now, chicken breasts. Gonna do chicken breasts in the sweet skillet. Um, not gonna do any veggies in it because you guys saw I had a pretty high carbs with the bread. So yes, you can have bread, you can have carbs. Just be mindful of it, how many calories you're at, what your carbs are at and everything like that. So um, with that, She's gonna do the chicken breast, gonna do thin slice, throw them up on here. So what I have found cooking on this, it makes everything a lot juicier. I don't know what it is, if it's because it cooks slower, because I used to cook everything super high heat, so that might be why. Um, it's definitely changing up doing it this way. Food is delicious. I had pork chops yesterday. Those were phenomenal. Um, but yeah, that's really it with meal two. So remember, track those calories. Make sure you know how many carbs you're at. You can still eat different things. Like I eat peas, I eat bread. Like as long as you track, keep the carbs low, keep the blood sugars low, surround your carbs around your workout, you are golden. So 